Hey everybody, Food Outlaws back with you again. Uh, we got the second part or two our Shine Down Sauce review. These are the two other bottles sent over by uh, Ben at Torchbearers. Uh, these two weren't uh, as hot as the other one. This one is uh, Shine Down Symptom Sauce. It's a uh, Chipotle garlic. Sounds good. And this is Shine Down Devour Sauce. Pineapple jerk sauce. If any of you guys have ever eaten that jerk chicken, this would be uh, wonderful on that, I'm sure. We're about to find out for ourselves. But uh, neither one of these seem like a candidate for a challenge, so we're just going to do the old Johnny Scoville spoon uh, taste testing here. We'll let you know if there actually is any heat in here, and we misjudged it, and what we think of the flavor, and maybe what we might think uh, it would be good on. Although, uh, like I always say, we're not really chefs or anything, so we don't have the refined palate. We can only make uh, suggestions based on our own likes and interests. But uh, we're going to give each one of these a shake and individually open them up one at a time and let you know what we think. We will start out with uh, Shine Down Symptom. This is a Chipotle garlic sauce. Awesome. If we like any of these sauces, we can like get something to try them on and give a different review about them on a food item. Instead of just the Chinese Scoville spoon, which are really cool spoons. Get these spoons because that way you don't taste the metal, you just taste the sauce. It's another pearl spoon. And on that mango habanero for, um, uh, from the attention, attention, this is hot sauce. I did post the links down below, one to the band's uh, Wikipedia page if you want to learn more about their music, and two to the Torchbearer uh, website. In case you want to get it for yourself. And you should get it for yourself. Treat yourself to something good. This smells amazing. It's got a pretty good smell to it. It's like a thicker sauce. That looks like a thinner sauce here. Yeah, I have to agree when I picked them up. I think I'm going to like this one. Garlic is one of my favorites. Sometimes I eat whole uh, pieces from garlic cloves just for health benefits. Yeah, it is super thick. It's like the old Heinz ketchup commercial. This is gonna be a very testing moment. There you go. All right. Well, you got it started. Yeah. What it looks like, I'm not spilling it for you folks. All right. Here we go. Once again, uh, Torchbearer Shine Down Sauce. This is a uh, Symptom Chipotle Garlic Sauce. Hmm. Wow. I like it. Uh, it's got a slight tongue burn right away. Is the first initial thing I noticed of any burn at all, and a tiny bit in the back of the throat. <coughs> I could have a little bit more of this. <laughs> if you can get out. I have a little more of this too. It's good not to have more of. Yeah, I like it. Surprisingly good for me. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Very good flavor for me. Something I could use on a lot of stuff. And uh, maybe even stuff like spaghetti and junk. Things that you'd want a little bit of garlic and spice too. Maybe on a slice of pizza. Yeah, probably so too. Pineapple pizza for me. I'm going to give it a 7 for taste. I like it too, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm giving it, yeah, that's rare for this guy. I give it an 8 out of 10 for taste. It has a slight burn to it, so I'm going to give the heat level a 2. I give it a 2 as well. Very good sauce. Great company. Great band. Great sauce. Moving on, we're going to go down to the second sauce here. This is Shine Down's Devour Sauce. Uh, pineapple Jerk Sauce. I do have some uh, jerk seasoning that we got from uh, Uncle Bull Cow. It's super yummy. I'd highly recommend it if you wanted to buy some from him. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this jerk sauce. And I do love pineapple. And like I said, even on pizza. Even though some say it's a sin. <laughs> I don't know if you use jerk sauce on a pizza or not. But I don't know. Really got chicken pizza. I'd be a jerk if I do. <laughs> This is one of our late night editions. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning where we live. But hey, we only care about the viewers, so we're going to make a video at any time of day or night. Yep. 
Oh, this one smells a little different. I'm not sure if I like this one or not. I don't know either. It's real thin, so be careful when you pour it. I'm smelling a sweetness, but not necessarily like pineapple. We will see. It might be the least favorite of all the three sauces we tried from Torchbearer and Shine Down. Oh, it was supposed to be thin. Oh, there we go. A little thicker than we thought. Yeah, almost on par with the consistency of thickness with this one. Just initially it looked a little bit more watery or liquidy, I guess. Yeah. Here we go. Devoured pineapple jerk sauce. Not that bad for me, but uh, not as good as that one. You try another spoon. I, I think it different seasonings in it, so I think it would definitely taste good on some meat. Uh, it's not terrible for me. I'm gonna give it uh, a six out of ten. It is kind of flavorful for me. It's I'll not the worst three. thing. If I try it on something, I might like it better. Like Heat for something. this, virtually non-existent. I don't even know if I could give it a one. I'm not really picking up any heat. Still got the residual heat on the tongue from that one. This is like a peppery taste to me. On some meat, it might be good. but Yeah, you can definitely taste like some of the granular stuff on your tongue in here. Uh, not horrible for me. Not the best. It's somewhat good. So yeah, I'll give it a six. I'll give it a four. So once again, this is Symptom from Shine Down. It's their uh, Chipotle garlic sauce. Uh, really good. This is Devour Pineapple Jerk Sauce. Uh, medium good for me. Uh, just okay for this guy. Yeah. Um, I'm glad we decided to just review these separately. They would not have worked in a challenge. It would have been an easy challenge. But uh, all in all, so far, uh, Torch Bear is batting uh, a little bit over 500 for us. We've liked the bulk of what they sent us, so uh, clearly they know what they're doing. Plus, uh, it's uh, subjective here. We don't really have refined palates. We're not going to like everything because no. we're not actually trying it the way the flavor profile is set up. We're just going by a taste test uh, uh, on a spoon-to-mouth type thing. what we think of it as regular people. Yeah, but we're always going to give our honest uh, opinions and reviews based on what we think. We're never going to skew anything just to try to get promotions or endorsements. It's not what we do here. Uh, but as far as that goes, we're going to wrap this up here. Thanks, everybody, for the recent support. Like, share, and subscribe, or at least one of the three. Any of those will help us out a ton. We're trying to push for a 1,000. That is our dream goal right now. If you can help us get to that, that would be great. But as far as that goes, we got tons more videos and probably another late night one coming after this one. So stick around and see what we do next. But until then, we're the Food Outlaws, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.